Hey man, get it, get all this on camera, man. Hey man, get my gas too, man. Hold out third real shit, man. Come on, I ain't got no wrong. You know what the fuck going on. Yeah, black all this on camera, man. Hey man, get my gas too, man. Hold out third real shit, man. Come on, I ain't got no wrong. You know what the fuck going on. Yeah, black, I'm little boy. <laughs> Excuse me, baby, what's your name here? Huh? Damn, for real? Let me see that. Let me see that. Damn, for real? <laughs> Nah, put I on. Who you real? You just said something to me at the mall the other day. Tell me some. Oh, uh, say some so Let me see. Uh, for real, I'm just saying. Can I be a member of your fan club? Being on the Spanish street, clearing up till I lay. Let me see me know before. Nigga, fuck up with some killers. I'm fucking so it's killer. I'm gonna get the motherfucker and I'm standing on that seat. We just stuck in with them two. That's how I'm in this bitch. Gay, turn up a bad man. We ain't gonna make a man. Shalom, Yasharalo, all praises and glory goes to our power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and Citations unto the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, in sincerity and in truth. With this great gospel coming out of the Bible, the scriptures, and um, it's not coming out of the Quran, it's not coming out of no book of the dead, <laughs> it's not coming out of no um, Talmud, it's not coming out of whatever book the Chinese read, what is that, um, Art of War. <laughs> yeah, bullshit, get your ass out of here. And the Lord's not dealing with these other nations. The Lord's never dealt with these other nations. The only reason they're in power right now is that the Lord is dealing with us. Even with our suffering, the Lord is still dealing with us, man. He's dealing with his elect. He's dealing with his elect. With his elect. He's keeping you safe from these, these beasts of the field, these animals, man. These other nations, these heathens, these Gentiles who want to devour you, want to destroy you want to kill you who want to see you annihilated because <laughs> your annihilation brings forth their um 
that gives them a little longer to rule in their mind. Why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? Because in their simple, sadistic minds, they think their kingdom's going to continue forever and ever. Like Esau, Edom, he thinks he's going to rebuild. You got um, so-called Edomites, I'm sorry, you got so-called white people in America, leaving America, going to China, trying to learn the Chinese language, right? Thinking they're going to set up shop over there, just like they left from um, France to Britain, from Spain, France, Britain, Portuguese, all these different places. Same motherfucking devils, Esau, Edom. It don't matter what country he went to, how he um, reestablished himself, how he renamed himself. He's still an Edomite. He's still an Edomite. And you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you speckled birds, you still an Israelite. You still going through your sufferings. I'm reading the book of Jeremiah 12 and 9. It says, mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. And um, it's talking about you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You Israelites and you speckled birds. We just watch one in the video. If you can't tell me, man, he get hugged, he get love from everybody in the hood. Cause why? He's one of those people. That so-called white man you was looking at. He's one of those people. It don't matter what the fuck your flesh look like. It don't matter what your hair texture look like. What your eye color look like. <laughs> it's all about your bloodline, your heritage. You go to the comic board where they said, um, they got one dude said, um. This was one of the white guys, and when the white flight happened, his family couldn't afford to leave. <laughs> yeah, because he was an Israelite. <laughs> he was an Israelite. You had some called white flight when so-called when the so-called white people, were, which are the Edomites, were just leaving neighborhoods that so-called blacks were moving into, so-called Hispanics were moving into, and the so-called white man was leaving. White flight, Edomite flight, and um some of the so-called Edomite looking people so-called some of the so-called white looking people can can afford to leave why because you Israelite you under the curse you got held back we have one dude in our neighborhood yeah I knew he was Israelite his mom had dreadlocks I think I met his mother before I met him and then and, man this nigga he was a straight looked like a straight white boy but a fucking terrorist and not like a, a terrorist white boy a hood terrorist type nigga only fuck with niggas, gang banging ass motherfucker. He represent harder than, than the niggas do. He represent it. And all these, in any hood you go to, they always throw the word white in front of that dude name. White this, white him, white him. Because they know, man, he different. He get love from um, the so-called Israelites. He get love from his people. Same thing amongst you Hispanics. You got that movie Blood In, Blood Out. It was about a, um, a Hispanic whose father was... If I'm not mistaken, his father was Mexican and his mother was white or the other way around. But I think his father had to be Mexican. But man, through the spirit, you knew he was an Israelite. If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to be wrong. Because we don't, we don't fuck. We're not here to make mistakes, man. Because the Lord will G, G check your ass. <laughs> when I say G check, God check your ass, man. You mess up his words, you're going to get fucked up. So you better think twice about what you're saying when you speak what you saying when you speak man because you got a bunch of our people talking about black only black only <laughs> this is for black people black people man I, the bible says um this is the book of romans 8 and 16 the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high it didn't say the skin color beareth witness his hair color his hair texture he's a negro this black man right man you got a lot of black motherfuckers man they go back to esau edom they go back to Esau, Edom. You got a lot of you Hispanics been conquered by the conquistadors. Your bloodline go back to them Spaniards. Yeah, hey, that 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 Spaniard came and fucked your motherfucking fucked one of them bitches in your in your bloodline and planted seed in her. And he looked like one of y'all, but guess what? His bloodline go back to the motherfucking Satan. Esau, Edom. Same thing with you Negroes. You got a lot of these um half breed. We call them um light skin. <laughs> And guess what? You got a lot of motherfucking Edomites who sleep with women and they come out black than the motherfucker. So ain't like we said, it ain't no matter what your skin color is, <laughs> your texture, your hair, <laughs> the shape of your eyes. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. The, the country you was born in, that don't mean nothing. It's all about the bloodline of your family. <laughs> Cause right now at the end of the day, is motherfuckers is everywhere. <laughs> you got Edomites who look like Asians, you got Arabs who look like niggas, you got keep going all day because people have been scattered amongst all kind of motherfuckers do you understand what I'm saying 
it's not that hard to understand. If you understand genealogy, if you understand bloodline, you understand that the seed of the father is what is it what counts. So anytime a man plants a seed in a woman, that seed belongs to that man. Who was his father? Who was his father's father? Who was his great great grandfather? Who was his great 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 grandfather? Who was who was who was his blood? It's all about the seed of the man. And guess what? The spirit of the Israelites is popping out because right now, who's your top boxer? He look like a white man. Tyson. Um, what's his name? Tyson Fury, if I'm not mistaken. Some dude out of, um over there in the in the in Europe. Knocking motherfuckers heads off they helmet. And you could tell he a Jake. <laughs> if you study his background and you look up his history and you look up his style, you can tell he a Jake. You got a lot of um so-called speckled birds standing out, man. Look at most of your dancers. You got um what's that um Jabberwockies. These motherfuckers will be dancing their ass off. No fucking heathen dance like this. Them niggas cold as ice. No heathen da- dancing like that. You got all type of musicians, and we go back to the 50s and 60s, the white boys singing with soul. <laughs> I ain't no Edomite. That's an Israelite. Because the Bible said the spirit, bear, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And you got salt. You got soul. <laughs> These heathens, they ain't got no spirit. They don't got no spirit. They're dead. All they thinking about is, um, how can I make more money? How can I be more more wealthier than the next man? As the Israelite, we trying to spread love to all. We all finna be rich. We all finna be wealthy. We all finna have a bunch of women and children and land. So there's no need to hate on the other man. Why would you hate on the other man when we all doing great? We all gonna be saved. We all gonna be delivered. We all gonna be ru- not all of us. De- when I say delivered, slaki, forgive me. We all gonna be saved because this the Bible said the Lord gonna save all Israel, even though two thirds gonna be killed. Boy, they gonna be in the kingdom of heaven. They gonna be in the kingdom. They gonna have righteousness. They gonna have greatness forever and ever, man. So our mind is not with this society. Our mind is with the next society to come, <laughs> the kingdom of heaven. Read the book of Ezekiel 36 and 19. The Bible says, Our Lord said, And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. So look at this with a spiritual mind. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. If you're an Israelite, you're not suffering that much. That must mean you wasn't that wicked you was wicked we all was wicked that's why we all fucked up we all transgressed the laws of the lord but certain motherfuckers transgress the laws of the lord to a whole nother level it's a whole nother level when you read the book of romans talk about them worshiping four-footed beasts and all these different things the lord gave them over to a vile effects the lord gave them over to a sodomite spirit a homosexual spirit the lord made them gay a boxy boy Pum pum boy pussy. <laughs> That's what the Lord made him. <laughs> the Lord made him a pussy boy then. And now they in love with other men. The women are in love with other women. Hey, don't get mad at us. This is what the Lord did. We just telling you what's going on. Like, cause you don't have no understanding. We're trying to we're trying to give you understanding. You want to delete understanding. You want to delete wisdom. You gotta be a fucking idiot. I'm reading again. I scattered them among the heathen. So we're scattered amongst the heathen who are the heathen all the other nations around around us from your arab to your east indian to your so-called white man your so-called hawaiian man (laughs) your so-called african man amongst all these people man the lord scattered us and i'm gonna say it again i'm gonna read it again and i scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings, I judge them. So if you're going through it, and yeah, you was wicked as fuck, deal with it. Deal with it. Man. That's a new thing. De- deal with it, man. Like my rude boy Jamaican Benjamin Yard say, deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. My pops, he used to say, so what? So what? Deal with it. <laughs> he a Levite. Man. He said, so what? Deal with it. You don't give a fuck what you're going through. Deal with it. Yeah deal with it so what suffering is people are supposed to suffer 
This is called life, motherfucker. <laughs> Everything ain't perfect. There's a balance. There's good. There's evil. There's fun times. There's sad times. <laughs> There's times of persecution. There's times of oppression. There's going to be a time where you're going to be in power if you're the righteous. If you're part of the elect, you're going to be you're going to have a time for your time. And that's the Lord's time, the kingdom of heaven. But right now, we're in a time of what? The heathen. I'm reading again the book of um, Ezekiel 36, verse 19. And I scattered them among the heathen <laughs> until the time of the heathen be fulfilled time of the heathen right now they man they doing their wickedness that's why you got sat satanist churches <laughs> right right now you got all different weird gods and there ain't no god nothing but statues of weird looking things and weird looking people you got this buddha motherfucker fat nasty looking motherfucker any you go to you remember you used to go to um chinese food restaurants it's a fat motherfucking statue sitting in the cut i used to want to take the money out of that motherfucker i'm taking all this shit same thing with the Christian church. I used to want to rob a Christian preacher. This thing ain't do no good for the neighborhood, man. I should go in here, beat his ass, and rob him. Oh, the Lord finna rob your ass. <laughs> the Lord finna rob you heathens. The Lord finna rob you, you, you um, two thirds. The Lord finna rob you wicked. The Lord finna beat your ass. The Lord finna kill you. I'm reading, and I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way. And according to their doings, I judged them. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned the holy name. Yeah, because now you worship in the heathen name. You went from Yahweh Shai to, you went from Yahweh, forgive me, Lord. You went from Yahweh to um, God, Zeus, <laughs> all these different names, Jupiter, all these different weird names. Um, Allah, <laughs> God, I, I believe in God. What's his name and what is his son's name? If thou can tell, like the scriptures say, right? And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned the holy name. When they said to them, these are the Lord, these are the people of the Lord are gone forth out of his land. So if you met you got your own land. The Lord has set you up in your land, gave you the, the milk and honey, right? Gave you all the blessings, the rulership. You fucked up. He done kicked you out your land. Now you got to go amongst the other nations. <laughs> the other nations. Why? Because the Lord done put a block on that land. And you cannot return to that land. We're Israelites, but we cannot return to that land. There's no way we can return to the land of Israel. Because there's other... There's already other people occupying the land of Israel. <laughs> they're calling self. They're calling themselves the Israel, not even the Israelites. They're saying they're the children of God. They're the Jews. They're the chosen people. Not just them. You got other nations in that land. So we've been. There's no way we could go back to that land right now in this time as a nation. <laughs> Only way that could happen is through motherfucking mass, motherfucking death and conflict, <laughs> and war, <laughs> and war. But that's not how it was written. The Lord already got it written a certain another, another way. And hey, wait for more lessons. You're going to learn. Keep listening to Great Millstone and the Brothers Who Preach the Truth. You're going to learn about the future of Israel, the future of America, <laughs> the future of this world. Ain't nobody going to say. They tell you to prepare. You got these prepare Canadian prepper, all these preppers, man. What, what the fuck you preparing for? You ain't talking about the king. You just preparing for um, oh, bad times. I'm preparing for bad times. Nah, we're preparing for the, the next kingdom, man. We're preparing for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh by Hashem man. We're preparing, for, we're, we're preparing for deliverance. We're the Lord's hopeful elect. We hope that the Lord save us. We hope we're delivered from the times to come. <laughs> we hope we are the children of the Heavenly Father, according to the scriptures we've been reading, man. That's what it's all about. We're going according to the words of the book. We ain't going according to how man feels. How man feels, man. I'm reading again. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. <laughs> when they said to them, These are the people of the Lord. They are gone out of this land, out of out of his land. But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, 
I do not this for my, I do not this for your sake. So everything that's about to happen is not for our sake. Because um, we are, we are a rebellious nation. We are disobedient people. <laughs> Through our disobedience, losers, the tail, the low lives of the earth took over the earth, became rulers of the earth, became kings and, and powers of the earth. We're talking about Edom, Moab, Ishmael. These other nations became rulers of the earth through our disobedience, man. We were supposed to be the head nation. Now we're the tail. We don't we don't even have a name on the earth. Black man, Hispanic. you 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 call yourself a Hispanic after the Spaniards. <laughs> right? You don't even have a name. You call yourself some shit after another motherfucker, black man. You looking black, man. I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> no man. This is no man right here. A nobody. A black man. A no man. A nobody. No color. You got a black piece of paper. Man, put some color on this, man. Do something with this paper, man. Do something with this paper, man. Because our people have been destroyed. Our people have been lost and scattered amongst the heathen. The heathen ain't finna let you know who you are to the heathen. Like the heathen, the word, um, they talk about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Savior. So why in the fuck would your slave master give you somebody that's going to save you from them? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I, I'm, I done ran up in this crib. I'm going to rob everybody in the crib. But, oh, let me stop. Let me give them a savior, somebody to save them from me. That, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, man. No fucking sense. I'm reading it says, and I will, verse 23, and I will scatter Slaki, forgive me, and I will sanctify my great name, which was profane among the heathen. And our people don't even know the name of our Lord, man. They don't even know the name of our, our Lord, which he have profane in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, I am the Lord, except the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. So what's about to happen, right? Lord about to set up some on earth, man, where the only thing you're going to be able to trust on is on him. And we're talking about the people that's willing to return back to the Lord because the Lord said, the Bible said, even after tribulation and all type of destruction, these motherfuckers still ain't going to repent. They're going to continue in their wicked ways. So this is all about the elect. The elect have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. The rest were blinded, right? I'm reading, it says, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of the countries and will bring you into your own land, which is the land of Israel. So you're going to have all type of different looking people coming with us. <laughs> all type of different looking Israelites. Not just black people. Not just Hispanic people, Native American people. You have all type of looking people, man. You have people looking like Asians. Looking like Arabs, looking like Hamites. The, the most bugged out looking Asian or Hamite you could ever see. Them Hamites with big ass things in their lips, all type of shit. The Lord gonna put a spirit on them. They gonna, man, they gonna remove all that bullshit. They gonna return back to the Lord. They gonna stop worshiping any God any day of the week. They gonna stop worshiping Buddha, Allah. They gonna stop calling on these false deities that don't have no power, that don't exist, that don't move. <laughs> I just collect dust <laughs> and bird doodle -doo. <laughs> and bird doodle -doo like that big ass Jesus Christ statue. My fucking birds landing on that Jesus Christ statue, shitting on that motherfucker. Lightning striking that motherfucker. They gotta go back and fix body parts on that motherfucker. The Lord don't need no fixing. And ain't nobody, ain't nothing shitting on our power. You how about shimmy outside? The Lord finna shit on you motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what's about to happen. The Lord finna shit on your asses. I'm going to read the book of, um, bear with me. Isaiah, um, four and one. It says in that day, oh, bear with me, slack, slack. It's the book of Isaiah 14 and one, 14 and one. It says for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Israel. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Right? I'm reading again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will, choose, will yet choose Israel. 
and shed them in their own land and shed them in their own land and land of Israel because we're not there right now we're scattered amongst the heathen and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the strangers are the Israelites coming back to the fold the speckled birds looking like a white man looking like an Arab man a East Indian man an African man it don't matter if you're part of God's chosen you will you, I'll be back you'll be back like Arnold said you will be back you're coming back home. You can't stop prophecy. You can't stop the words written, man. This The Bible is called the book of life. So in other words, this thing has already been written out. <laughs> What's about to happen? You're going to wake up and do what the fuck your ass was set up to do tomorrow because it was already predestined for you to do it. For you to do it. Yeah. And I'm going to keep reading. The people shall take them and bring them to their, their place. And we're going to keep going. The house of Israel shall, pos- shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives whose captives they were now this is going into the other nations we're going to take them captives whose captives we were we're going to bring our speckled bird brothers back home to the land through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and then the other nations who took us captives we're going to take their asses captives right whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors they're going to rule over our oppressors. So in other words, man, all this suffering is coming to an end. All this suffering and tribulation, drug addiction, alcohol, alcoholism, um, wife beating, um, cheating and adultery and murder and, and just bullshit. Man. <laughs> Look at black and Israelite, black land culture is bullshit. Mexican man culture is bullshit. Speckle bird ain't got no culture. They following after heathen, man. Everything is bullshit, man. We need what? Y'all buy shimmy outside. 